to GG Rated. I am Gino. This is Gray. The date is April 7th, 2024. Thank you for stopping in. We have a great one for you. Gray, tell them what we got. Today, we're going to talk about our gaming moment of the week. We're going to go into some news and deals and then look at some game trailers. Yeah, I like it. I man. like it. With that being said, uh, let's, uh, let's roll into the intro. Let's go. Hello, welcome to GG Rated. We hope you enjoy the show. Now here are the hosts. All right, all right. Uh, I kind of hit the wrong button for a second there in case you couldn't tell. The ball, you've been really low. <laughs> Love it, dude. Love but, it. But hey, we are here, guys. It is April 7th. Y'all are listening to this on April 8th. Uh, we got a great show ahead. Um, it is right now 1130 at night, but we are dedicated to get this podcast out, to get it out to y'all. Um, That's have right, a little fun. Baby. Have a little fun. That's right. I was working late tonight trying to make that overtime so I can buy some more games. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> He's just, it might be a little cuckoo because it's so late, but hey, we're going to have some fun, like I said, tonight. And uh, either way, we got it in for y'all, man, to try to get y'all another episode. This is going to be episode 33, I believe. Episode what 33. You boy. That's crazy. So, Episode 33. It's been quite the journey so far, and I'm excited to have gone 33 episodes with <laughs> the Raging Cajun. <laughs> I hear you, G-Ray. I hear you, man. Look, uh, <laughs> tell me about your week, man. I know you've been working a lot, a lot of overtime oh, yeah. and stuff. I've been doing um, lots did you get of to do overtime anything? this week. Lots of overtime this week. I uh, got to play a little bit of games on my break. Me and my son, have, you know, this is our little upstairs loft area where we play games. And me and him both have actually been playing an older game and been having a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to talk about that in my game moment of the week. Um, but as far as just life in general goes, just been working and uh, living the American dream, man. Like, just been awesome. How about you, buddy? Uh, it's been going good. I just um, working a little evening shift. I got one more week left on the evening shift. And then I'll get back on day shift. Maybe our schedule's going to be a little bit better. But, um, man, had a couple games this week with the T-ball team. Uh, mm -hmm. Did really well. It's starting to get a little hot, Gray. So mm -hmm. these kids are like, man, it's hot. I don't want nothing to do with this. You know? Right. But, I have a um, question about baseball, too. Okay. Do you have any parents that are being, like, loud and obnoxious? Because we've already <laughs> already had that. No. We actually, I will say, this year, no. But if you want to go back to last year, and they're also yeah. they're they're so sweet, man. They're nice. So I'm not gonna say oh, it's yeah. bad. They just but there was one, and even to today Passionate. we laugh we laugh about it. And she always would yell all the time during the games and say, Run, Tucker, run, just like that <laughs> every time. So That's this great. year, what's crazy about that you brought that up is we went to a parent teacher meeting that we all have to do at the end of the year, and on the front of the mo the mobile county school thing you know that had they have a bunch of kids on the brochure on that brochure was one of the boys that i coached last year and me oh, and cool. <laughs> me and ashley look at each other we just start laughing and she goes run tucker <laughs> <laughs> but uh That's what great. about you man how's your parents doing this year my I feel parents, like there's a story oh, to so, it. The parents, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're coaching. Um, I saw I got, you helping. Yeah. So I'm not getting to go to all the games because I do work on the night shift, but I did get to go to the first game and I did get to help coach. And it was fun. You know, I was the one back there when the coach, this is coach pitch baseball. So when the coach would throw the ball, if the kid didn't hit it or if he swung and he missed, whatever i was back there and i would catch the ball and throw it back to the pitcher i would also help the kids you know get the proper stance and all that stuff oh that's that's the and, good uh, position yeah oh yeah yeah and then like when it's time for us to be on the field um it was so fun because me and my my son would run together and go Woo! we would all like <laughs> run out to the field and it was just fun to like not take it so seriously, but at the same time, try to be competitive and all that stuff. But yeah, we did have one parent who was the whole time going like, "Oh, oh, he was safe," or like, oh, <laughs> no. "Oh, this is this is crazy, this is bull crap." 
like just <laughs> loud, dude. And um, was really getting on the umpire. <laughs> and then the coach, like the head, the our head coach had to be like, listen, I got it. I got it. You can't be doing that. You're going to get me in trouble. And Great. There is so always... Funny. There's always one parent. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There's always one parent. Now, now I will say this, and maybe we should kind of um, say this to everybody that's listening, is sure. I'm not in competitive with my T-ball team, right? Like, there's no score yeah. or anything. It's just having fun. You're actually in competitive, right? Like, they have all-stars and yeah, everything, Yeah, like, right? they actually win <laughs> and lose and, like, yeah, yeah, like, it's competitive. But I don't know. At the same time, <laughs> it's not really for me, I think. Other people take it more more seriously, but this no, is no, not no, 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 the no. point to me. I I I am loving the fact I saw you coaching as much as you. Yeah. you it's like you always say, "I don't care. I don't want a sport. You know, I don't play." I, I don't mean, care like about I don't exactly like I don't really care about watching it. If yeah. I'm gonna be a part of it, I would love to play. Like I enjoy playing, but as oh, far yeah, as yeah. watching games and all that, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Like I'm the kind that's like. When I watch something, I want to go do it. And if I can't yeah. go do it, then I'm like, I don't even want to watch it. So, yeah. um, which I did enjoy baseball. That was one game that I did enjoy playing. Um, the reason, the bit. reason I say this, guys, is every time I'm like, "Hey, I'm gonna go watch the Bama game." He's like, "Okay, Matt, <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll tide, roll tide, guys." But, <laughs> roll tide, uh, sure. But <laughs> when you talk about racing, and guys, I'll, I'll quit talking about the T-ball because we can talk all night about this, but. You know, oh, yeah. at the end of the game, every game, it's funny you talk about racing with your boy, like running on on and off the field. I yeah. always race all the kids after we get done shaking hands and getting them to shake hands. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, I'm going to beat y'all to the dugout. And it, dude, half the time, like they all tumble over each other most of the time, you know, trying to beat <laughs> <Yeah>. me. <laughs> but other times, it's just always fun to just uh, play those little games with them, you know. But uh, For sure, dude. But did you have any gaming moments this week? Uh, we'll just go right into it then. Game moment of the week. Let's go. I sure did, and I am rather excited to talk about this game. If I may go first, my good sir. Go ahead, sir. man. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Go ahead. So, I've been playing a game that released in 2007, and it came out on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, might have been some other platforms as well. But the game I'm talking about is Skate. If you've ever played Skate, yes, I, I think this game, <laughs> this game series redefined the genre because before this, what was the main skateboard game? It would be Tony, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk. Right? Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Tony Hawk. Yeah. You jump up, you hit triangle, you automatically grind. You know, you hit square and some other directional buttons, and you'll do flips and stuff on the board. So this game is different. You feel like you're more in control of the skater because you're using the stick. Like you'll hit down and you'll crouch and then you'll hit up and you'll ollie. And you actually have to ollie onto things and it feels like you're more in control of the board. It's a lot more like interactive. Um, I really enjoy the flow of everything. When you're flowing down ramps and all that, you actually have to pump your legs to gain speed. Which skate are you talking about, though? Is it the original skate? Skate skate one. Skate one. Yes, skate skate one. So this is the one that I'm starting out playing. I'm actually playing it on my Steam Deck. So um, I'm playing on a PlayStation 3 emulator on my Steam Deck. And, man, this game runs so great on the Steam Deck. Um, Looks good, plays good. I believe on PlayStation 3, these games were in HD, right? So they were. Yeah, um, they, they were. So this is running on the best resolution it can on the Steam Deck. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. And um, I've been playing the crap out of it, dude. Like, there's all these different challenges on there where you're trying to beat other pro skaters. So you're on the journey to get sponsored. So I'm sponsored by Zero which is pretty Skateboards. Cool. Yeah, which is actually like one of my favorite. Actually, hold oh, on. One yeah. Hey, show them the skateboard, dude. What people don't really know is there's a whole other story. We used to skate oh, yeah. a little bit. We used to skate in- quite a bit. So here's my skateboard. This is a Zero board, which is who I'm sponsored by in the game. And it's nice. autographed by Jamie Thomas himself. J- Jamie Thomas, yeah. a pro Christian skateboarder. 
Um, this is a really cool board. It says Wait, you Ozark, said it's autographed? Shred for Life. It's autographed by Jamie Thomas. I did not know that. The Ozark Skate Park. Yeah. <laughs> what? It says Ozark Shred for Life. There it is right there. That's super cool, man. That's super cool. Yeah. So we I'm should skate on it. sponsored by Zero. <laughs> we should skate on it. No, never. <laughs> Never will I skate on this board. But, dude, we should start skating again. Like, this has got me wanting to skate. Look at this. You can change your outfit. You can change your shoes, your shirt, your hat, your board, your trucks, your wheels, everything. Uh, and this is just the start of the skate series. I'm excited to play Skate 2 and 3. I remember I might have dabbled in these games back in the day, but really don't remember them. And dude, yeah. this game plays like a well-polished game of today. Like it's really, really good. Yeah, and, and I mean, this is a 2007. You said right? Uh, I think this yeah. video is 12 years old or something like that. But man, the for its time, it's so good. I think they ended up releasing Escape Three, Escape Two, and Escape Three in this game, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm but, excited to go through all of them. But I got to tell you, when you said we should skate again, uh, kind of going back to that real quick, <laughs> I have my skateboard in the garage up at the top, so I don't have it on me. Right? I can't go get it. But yeah. if I knew it was going to talk about skate a little bit more, I should have grabbed it. But I brung it out one day when my daughter was like riding a bike and stuff. And man, mm -hmm. I still can do the pop shove it, bro. I can still Let's do the go. Pop, pop shove it. That's about the only trick I can do um, like – pretty much on demand i remember i skated the most probably with you man like we used to oh, skate yeah. over at the post office in skipperville um we used to skate in ozark i mean we we went to mad chucks back when it was in panama city beach florida back in the yep. day i like it was a big deal it was around the same time that tony hawk did the 900 Skating was like at its peak, I think, then, honestly. Oh, I, I have the video, so bro. I have the video, bro. That I can throw the skateboarding <laughs> video on there. They, they, they don't even do know it, what it's like. They don't even know. They don't what even like know. But, so, oh, I got it. If it's the video, I think you show it. Yeah, dude, there's me doing an ollie <laughs> off of the ledge. This is me this in is 2003. Casper, Casper, I was how old? To shove it like to 14 or I'll something? I don't know. Right? I was young. I know yeah, it's kind of big. Look at that. Take what, maybe we can see this real quick. Yeah, dude. Look at dude. that. <laughs> oh, pop shove it. Easy. Pop God, look it. at the date on this. It's 2003. This yeah. is something. 2003. Oh, look at those highlights in my hair, too. Like, <laughs> You can, you can tell this is where it's in. that was probably from Jackass. With a round of applause for Josh. That. Great. This was around the same time that Jackass came out, and look at oh, look at the young Cajun. Take that. Yep. So you're doing the pop shove it off the leg. Yep. Right. Trying to Dude. just. I mean, I this it. video. Oh, you that was a great see, dolly. You don't see too much of this footage. Um, anymore, you know, with, yeah. with you know, because I had to end up getting this in all the time, and you're really good yeah. at it. And then you would do the oh, yeah, <laughs> dude, <laughs> sick. but uh, that's a little bit of it, yeah, oh. <laughs> nice. yeah, but that's uh, that's great. I'm I'm glad you have that on demand to pull out at any time because that is a great video. <laughs> but guys, uh skate is it on sale you said is it on sale no uh well i have no clue because i played this on <laughs> emulation playstation 3 <laughs> emulator on the steam deck uh plays great on steam deck um i don't even know if you can unfortunately buy we're not going to tell y'all how, how but you know normally you have a right. rom you have a, you have a emulator right tell them how they would go this about on doing Xbox. that Tell them how they would go so, about if they want to know about doing that, Gray. If you want to know about doing that, look at Emu Deck for your Steam Deck, mm -hmm. and it'll automatically download all the emulators for you. And I'm not going to say where to get your ROMs, but if you want to <laughs> know, maybe you could email us at ggratedchannel at gmail.com. Maybe send us a private message. We can talk yeah, about it, but make sure you own the game first. You got to own there the game go. first. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to talk about my game in moment of the week. Uh, if you good, you you done with skate? Yeah, yeah, man. I just want to talk about. I don't skate. know if I can I'm top that. So by excited. the way, 
I don't know if I can talk that way. You brung a Jamie Thomas board on the on the (laughs) video. Like I can't talk. Yeah, dude. But um, something that has been really fun that we kind of talked about last week is Rebirth Island is back on Call of Duty. You know, the original. You have Rebirth. You have Verdansk. Verdansk is not back yet, but uh, on PC and on Xbox and PlayStation. But Rebirth is man, and I'm telling you, I've been playing it with some buddies a little bit. I know me and Gray has not. We have not got together yet at this point. We might play a little bit after this, but Mm -hmm. I played a little bit with Derek and Brandon and them. And man, I had Baxter. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, you remember Baxter. He came on the show. Yeah, Baxter was on the pod. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the the backstory we have with Baxter here, and it it cracks us up, man, is he used to play the Call of Duty with us. He used to play with us with him sometimes too. And we would call him Mm -hmm. the Colonel. He would be the Colonel. You know, he always lead the charge. He's really tactical. <laughs> so you did play with us before. So he was getting on there, but he wasn't playing. He was playing like lawnmower, lawnmower simulator or something like that. I don't know. But <laughs> he was getting on there and all of a sudden Derek starts calling him commander. So now he's upgraded. He said he hasn't even played Rebirth yet and he's already been promoted to commander. So make sure you call him Commander Baxter next time you talk to him. Okay? I will, dude. But commander Baxter. Man, the first game I played with nobody, um, first game, I got a dub. I got a W on Rebirth, man. Uh, I played some Heck with yeah. uh, I played some with uh, John just a little bit ago before you got on, just a second ago. Mm-hmm. We got another W. I had like 13 kills. And, uh, oh, man, it's, it's just – John was saying this when we was kind of playing. It's just, man, he's he's getting COVID vibes. You know, and the, re- and the reason yeah. we say that – it's not bad in a bad way. It's just when we was playing during COVID, you know, we was hopping yeah. on every night. We was talking to each other. You have everybody getting on. So you kind of had those vibes of for sure playing again with Rebirth. Maybe it's a nostalgia talking. I don't know. But it was a it's it's just a fun time overall. So it was definitely my gaming moment of the week is getting on that. I, I did play a lot of Sea of Stars now. I did play a lot. I got through a lot of nice. it. Um, so I'm almost at the end of it, I think. But cool. uh, Rebirth is definitely the gaming moment. Definitely. So does Rebirth feel different to you? Because it is on the n- new engine. Like it's more playing like Modern Warfare 2 now. Um, and no, to I- me, it's to me, it doesn't feel as good because it's a little bit faster. It feels more sweaty. Um, but I don't know what your experience with it is. So I can't really tell a difference. Um, I've been doing the slide. Now, I don't slide as much anymore. Right. But I feel like I, f- I mean, I feel like it's no no different. If it is any different, it's in my mm-hmm. benefit because I've been dude, I've been killing sure. it. I don't know why, but I've been killing it on there. Um right. The recoil is better on it. Uh I can shoot far away. I do use a Elite mm-hmm. Series 2 controller. I don't use mouse and keyboard. Um okay. so so far I've had I have no complaints on it. The only I think the only complaint I have is my controller will disconnect sometimes with this game. And I know it's just Call of Duty because it doesn't happen in any other game that I play. It's never yeah, done I wonder before. why that is. It must be a glitch or something in the it's game. It's got to be. So sometimes, you know, that's a crucial thing, too, to happen during a FPS game. You know, multiple. Oh, yeah. You don't match. want any lag at all. Like, <clears throat> yeah. you want to be one-to-one with that sort of thing. So, so it'd be like five seconds difference. But, guys, uh, if you haven't played Rebirth, hop on there um it's it's a it's a great time and hopefully we can get some games and maybe some gameplay going some streaming going on josh uh Dude, we rebirth. should definitely stream that tonight i would yeah. that would be awesome i'm down i'm down for that oh um, okay cool so what you got next man uh next we got a little bit of gaming news and gaming deals let's go let's go I'm turning so it over to you, big boy. You got some big news boy. for us, buddy? Oh, okay, for I'm me. Turn it over it's to you, turn. man. Turn it over All to right. you. All right. So, right now, I'm going to talk about some gaming deals that might be worthy of your time. These are kind of only ones that I'm at, that I'm interested in and I thought would be worthy of sharing. So, right now, I'm looking on uh, gg.deals, looking at the Steam deals for this week. And some that point out to me is uh which is actually I think a historical low for this game is South Park, The Fractured Butthole, if you've ever seen that game. 
<laughs> let's, 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 throw it on, let's throw it on there. South Park, so. the fractured butthole. I'm trying to pull it up right now so I can read this. Um, yes. So it's $5.99, which is 80% off. It's a hot deal, according to GG.Deals. And it's a South Park game. If you're into South Park at all, I do watch it from time to time. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> and um, I've actually heard this game was really good. So it's one that would be a low like entry point. It's usually a thirty dollar game. It's only five ninety nine. It's one I might pick up, especially if it's playable on the Steam Deck. A lot of times, games these days that I'm looking to play um, that it maybe be on the less uh, or on the more affordable end are games that I want to play on my Steam Deck. So this one might be a great Steam Deck game. I'm not sure. Um, and another one that I was looking at that would be cool to revisit because this is a game that I actually did beat back in the day was uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. The complete edition is only $5.99. Usually a $20 game, but it's only $5.99. It's on sale. So I think that's another one that would be worthy to try out. Um, I know that GTA 5 plays great on Steam Deck. So Grand Theft Auto 4, I don't expect to be any different. I expect it to probably be better. Um, and it's actually a really good story, really fun game. I remember playing it back in the day, beat the whole thing. Um, I actually remember, dude, back in the day, you oh, and your man, brother came game. over to my house. Yeah, yeah. So you and your brother stopped by my house back when I was living in a trailer in like, I, f I forget where it was. It was close to Dothan. Was but it by that church? Any, by that church? That trailer? Maybe, maybe it might have been, but yeah. um, y'all came over to my house and we played a, we played this game, and I think we might have played Driver. I'm not sure, but oh, anyways, we did play Driver because uh, me and my brother remember that. <laughs> <laughs> we did play that game. We love that game. <laughs> yeah, that was a really cool game too. But uh, this one kind of gives me the same vibes because it's around the same time, but. Really fun game, um, and also another game that I've been wanting to uh, have. I played it some back in the day um, when it was fresh and new. I think it was on Game Pass, maybe. Not exactly sure, but that's Red Dead Online. Red Dead Online, so it's not the whole like Red Dead story. It's just an online online portion of the game where you can do different things and you know round up a posse and play together. Um, it's only nine ninety nine right now. It's usually twenty dollars. So Red Dead Online is one that I might pick up. I know um, Red Dead Redemption Two actually plays really well on Steam Deck, so I'm expecting that this one would too. And I'm expecting that it would be a good time to hop in here and uh, do some online shenanigans for Red Dead. So, and just to clarify, like, do you have? Do you get? I don't know if you know this or not, but do you get mm -hmm. online? access what red did online with the game or is it where no, you have to yeah. purchase it separately no so, yeah so this is just the online part that you purchase so you're I just going to be so. able to play okay. yeah yeah so to actually play red dead redemption 2 like the whole game and the story and everything i think that's still a 60 dollar game that you would have to purchase but this is just the online part which i think you can do a lot of things like you can do on the main game. It's just um, now you can do it with your friends. So I'm pretty okay. sure it's $9.99 on Steam, on Xbox, and PlayStation. So um, and it's this actually is the lowest dude, it's ever been on PlayStation as well. Um, yeah, right so this is one that I might pick up, dude. And I, this would be fun for us to go do some stuff together. Let, let's game, get it, honestly. man. Hey, I'm down for that. Because I, I played Red Dead 2. I never played Red Dead 1. But Red Dead mm -hmm. 2, is it's an awesome game. The oh, low dude. times just killed me. The low so times good. killed yeah. me. It, it, it made yeah. me, it turned me off on the game or whatever. But sure. man, that's I some good totally deals. So you got South yep. Park at five ninety nine, right? A fractured butthole. <laughs> A fractured butthole for five ninety nine. <laughs> you got Red Dead for historically low ten dollars on PlayStation, ten dollars on PC and Xbox One, and mm -hmm. you also got uh, Skate that you talked about as well. And what was the other game you just talked about? It was. 
What was it? Red Dead Online, and I talked about Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 4, which is $5.99 as well. So that's some good deals, guys. I'm going to also throw out there um, for the PlayStation Xbox guys, just a couple of them real quick. There's a spring sale going on, reference to 80% off. I'm going to let all y'all know. I think the one that I really want to make sure to let people know about is Mortal Kombat 1 is on sale for $34.99. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so that, that's the new one. That's the revamp yes. of the whole thing yes yeah, yeah. so i've been wanting they, to play they're redoing it all the way 34.99 honestly i think they can do better than 50 percent off on a mortal Kombat. Sure. it's going to go lower than that but if you're really wanting to play this game you're a big fighter game definitely try that out man it's going to be a really good game to look into uh jedi survivor uh Ooh, 31 49 I want that. <laughs> normally 70 dollars 55 percent mm. off if you played the first one uh, Jedi Fallen. It's a really great game. Kind of oh, souls like kind of experience. Um, Beat it. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, right next to it, Avatar. I just throw that out there real quick. Forty seven ninety nine. We talked about that before in the podcast with well. with Daniel Milner when he was yep. a guest on the podcast. It is now on sale. It is now on sale. If you wanted to try nice, that out, nice. So uh, there was a the main one I want to do is I don't know if you ever played it, but I have played it before, and they're talking about redoing it. But uh, Sunset Overdrive. It is an original Xbox, Xbox 360 game. Um, it's a really cool game. Really cool game, man. Uh, $4.99, man. I just had to throw that out there. Wow. Uh, that's if, crazy. If you, if you haven't played it, I, I'm telling you now, $5 is worth the price for that. If you Dude, want that would be such a great Steam Deck game. I wish it was oh, on Steam Oh, it would be. be. It Perfect. would be. Wouldn't it, though? Like, yeah, it, it, no, it would. Um, go on the PlayStation side real fast. Um, oh, dude, it is on Steam. I didn't even know it was on Steam. It's $20 on Steam, so it's not on sale on Steam, but I'm adding this to my wish list for the future. Sorry, go ahead. Wait, wait, it's <laughs> on Steam? It's on Steam? It totally is on Steam. It's $20 on Steam. Well, but, it'll uh, go on sale at some point. Yeah, um, I just added it to my wish list. Guys, the last thing I want to talk about is on the PlayStation side. Uh, there's a couple of them I want to throw out there. Uh, Gran Turismo 7. It's the newest installment of Gran Turismo. It's a racing game for PlayStation. Pretty, the game pretty is kind of like it's like a Forza Motorsport. When I mentioned this game, that I was going to be talking about it, Gray immediately was like, "Man, I wish this game would come to uh, PC." And there's been talks mm-hmm. about it coming to PC this year, but um, but we do not know yet. You can get the standard edition on the PlayStation 4 for thirty dollars. If you got a PlayStation 5. Or maybe a PlayStation 4, you're thinking about going to PlayStation 5. $39.89. So 40 bucks, you can get both versions of PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 uh, version as well. Not bad. I mean, it's only $70, so you got about 55% off as well for Gran Turismo 7. And it's a really good game as well. Uh, the last one I want to talk about in the games and deals section, man, is it Returnal. So Returnal, if everybody remembers, it was originally... Something that Xbox, uh, Xbox actually made this. It's a first person title from Xbox and actually went over to PlayStation first. And it was exclusive for PlayStation as well. But it's a really good game. It, it actually was named Game of the Year in 2022. Um, so that game right there, I, it's, it's not on sale, but I just wanted to mention this game trailer and just kind of show this game trailer real quick in reference to this game. It's not on sale, but it's a great game. Yeah, dude, it looks sweet. It's the one that I've been wanting to play for quite a while. It's been on my wish list um, for a while. So and just to kind of if this yeah. game, I would pay like twenty five bucks if this game would go on sale for twenty five bucks. I'd probably pick yeah, it up. and it, I think it will go on sale. And the big thing about it, I want to mention it's on Game Pass. So uh, you should be able to play this game for free yeah. on Game Pass. But all it is it. is you try to break the cycle of Fight to Survive as this award-winning third-person shooter brings uh, Celine's story to the PC. So you take on this low-like challenges, engage enemies in uh, bullet hell-fueled clashes, share your journey uh, through Eternal with another player. So you try to go further and further and try to break this cycle of dying, pretty much. So it's a pretty cool game, pretty cool idea. That's cool. Yeah. But that will be it with the gaming deals, man. So, uh, oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. What's next on the agenda? 
I think they're, on the last he, section over here, the good old uh, let's watch the trailer of the game that you was talking about. Oh and yeah, so you, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna move <laughs> into game trailers. Let's go ahead and start that off. Game trailer. Let's see. We got something for that. <laughs> 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 audio jungle a little bit of inside joke there <laughs> uh, <laughs> game trailers i had to play that by for you. audio jungle <laughs> that's funny time it's great yeah so um this is kind of a new segment we were wanting to do uh where we're going to show each other game trailers and kind of talk about it and stuff um so the game trailer that I picked out that we both haven't watched yet <laughs> is a uh, police simulator. And my friend here is a police I don't know why officer. you chose that. I don't know why you chose that. Yeah, no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he can tell us firsthand if this is an accurate simulator or not. So without further ado, could you please play Rated T for team. the trailer? So I don't have audio for this, but I can uh, tell you what's going on. Are you podcast that's a listeners? diner. Yeah, they're, so that's they're accurate. The there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> eating some donuts. So right now there's a cop car on the interstate. Um, chasing the graphics after are not that car. great, but hey, you, you get know, the point. The graphics aren't that great. Uh, well, that you know, it looks all right. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's not bad. It's not triple A by any means. They got stop sticks. It, it looks Come like on. it would be fun though. It kind of gives me the vibe. Uh, it get says, "Pick up the chase, expansion. get ready for the highway patrol expansion." Oh, okay. Oh, so this is for oh, an so expansion. This is just an expansion. So for a game that to... might already be out, I don't know. Let's see, Police Simulator. Um, yeah, it's all expansions right now. So let's look at this. Oh, this this game is already out. Police Simulator Patrol Officers. Is thirty dollars on Steam? Not stopping. I've been huh? Really interesting. With this game, Police Simulator. It's got a so uh, very give positive a, reviews. Time, I will give a shout out to Simulator like Adventures. Um, <laughs> so he, I guess, plays a lot of these simulation games. Um, so he's kind of does like a little review, so we can kind of see a little bit what it looks like. You kind of got a map, like a section, like you had beats. So that's it looks like accurate, GTA kind of on the map. It's got kind yeah. of a GTA vibe. But you see how it has the lines um, for everybody that's watching on the YouTube. It has the lines where you actually have your own beats and stuff that you have. So that's kind of interesting. That's cool. And it have a shift so duration is, too. So is that like it would be in oh, real life? There I am right there in the desk. <laughs> section of the city to watch over. If like, you have patrol, yes. Yep. Yeah, okay. You actually have a beat and everything. Cool. So. Oh, Very so cool. that's what that means. Like a beat means your own means your area. Of the city. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. I guess you're oh, taking so calls. right now he's talking to somebody. You open your phone. You can shut him on the map. Um, Interesting. He's talking about it right now about what you get. Do you know what I've always wanted to try out? Um, so I've seen a mod for Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh. Before. Man, where, I like, saw that too. Everybody's role playing, and Hello. you could play as a police officer, and it looks really fun. And, and I was talking to Blaze about that. If you remember Blaze, he was on a previous podcast of us mm -hmm. uh, with us. He was saying that they're so serious about it. it's like a role playing server that they have on GTA Five. And if you don't do everything right on there, like you start messing around, you start like shooting people and all that stuff. Which you know, some people will probably say that's normal. But if you sure. start doing that stuff. Um, they'll kick you out and they'll ban you from the server. That's great. So you can't, you, so you can't do it anymore. But there's like some so, real serious people that that really deal with that stuff. Yeah, and do that. Yeah, that sounds fun. So I was a part of an organization on Star Citizen where I was part of the Marines on there, and they took it very seriously. Like we would train. We would learn how to split the pie in different rooms and stuff. Like to me, That's they awesome. took it a little too serious. But um, yeah, it was fun when we would actually get to battle each other and stuff like that. Man, this is this is um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I thought about making if I had to make a game. I thought about this would be an awesome game to kind of make to kind of our experience yeah. what we have to do. And whoever's sure. the developer on this game is doing a great job with it. They're showing the insurance. Yeah. They're showing the license. Um, I mean, they're giving tickets with the money and all that. They're having the conversations. Yeah. You have all these, op you have the beats, 
you have the diners, you have the police station, you're going straight. Now, you don't usually go from the, you know, the desk, you know what I'm saying, right. in, in doing that. But, I mean, it's you got some pretty cool stuff on that game, man. I you think know what pretty- would be really neat, too, is if they took the, like, animations and stuff like they did on that game called L.A. Noir, where they had, like, you could tell if somebody was lying or something. They, they would have these animations on the face and um, kind of have it more, like, interactive like that to where you're talking to somebody and try to see if they're lying or not, you know? It's so cool you say that because I will tell you this and kind of give you a little tip. So we actually take an investigative course. I took uh. one with Dr. With Dr. Rhodes uh, as an investigator, and uh, the doctor would kind of – do some training with us and for investigators. And some of the things is how can you detect when somebody's not being truthful? Right. Wow. And when you're yeah. in the interview room, it actually helps because definitely being an investigator interviewer is you can kind of tell when they're not being truthful. Um, sometimes they'll ask you the same question back. They'll try to stall. Uh, they will mm. cross their legs. they will cross their arms. Like they're defensive. Like they don't want to blurt it out. They put their hand over their mouth. Uh, when they're talking, that means they don't want the words to come out. So it's just a reaction. Wow. Of closing their mouth. You know, there's so many different things like you're talking about. And it would be cool, like you said, to implement that. Like you see in like the vein, they start sweating or something like that. And you're like, hey, this, something ain't right with this guy, you know. And yeah. there's so many things you can pick up on. It's not just one thing. So that would be a, a really cool step. But it would take somebody really getting in debt with a police officer or investigator that has that training that knows those little things, you know, but yeah, you're yeah, right. That man. would That's, be really neat. That would be huge. That's some interesting insider information there, man. That was really cool to hear about. Yeah. I just told um, everybody, they're like, man, I can't I'm gonna have to remember that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have but, to remember that just in case. <laughs> but man, no, that was some, uh, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed, uh, everything with, you know, the, the deals and everything. I, Gray and Meese talked about it. I think on the podcast, I think it's a really good thing to kind of throw some deals out at them uh, every week. So, you know, sure. when you come on this show and you listen to it, if you want to pick up some of these games and all that at a great price, we got you covered. I mean, got so, you, bro. yeah. And then still going over some of these new games and all that. Um, I know there was something we kind of skipped. I kind of wanted to go over just real quick before we end the show, if that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. So they had something uh, this week come out, and they just said it, and it's in reference to uh, Apple. And I don't know if y'all can see this too much. Oh, yeah. But, uh, okay. But Apple um, is now allowing retro game emulators um, on their platform. So there's been a lot of pushback with Apple. We've kind of talked about it a little bit, right, with Apple and Android. Mm-hmm. Um. And it's not just specifically Android, but other phones, other companies against uh, Apple. And a lot of that has to do with Microsoft as well. Well, long time ago, you used to be able to jailbreak an iPhone all the time. That used to be the popular thing to do. You can put emulators on there. I remember on the iPhone 3GS. Do you remember that phone, the 3GS? I was, no. playing, Mar- I was playing Mario on that phone uh, through an emulator. Oh, cool. Yeah, but I mean, it it wasn't the best experience, but it was just cool to know that you can play a Nintendo console game on a phone. Um, But it was all jailbroken stuff. So now they were actually allowing these emulators to be downloaded and used. So now you can probably have like Xbox have their own emulator on there for their games, PlayStation. Um, You can play um, PS, PP, SS, PP, you know, for... um, for all the PlayStation stuff and everything. So all these emulators that they have, you won't see Yuzu on there though, Josh, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you might see Sue you on there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was pretty good, by the way. But it, I think it's a huge thing. Um, that it, It's like a step forward to allow emulation and stuff like that. I think it's something that these companies won't contest you know, I think Nintendo's the only one ballsy enough to do that, right? They got rid of Yuzu right. by, by testing. But if they lose the battle one time, they lose it, then that opens up emulation completely, and that can be a danger to their money, right? right. So they're now allowing it. So I'll, I'll give a quote. Apps may offer certain software that is not embedded in the binary. 
specifically HTML5 mini apps and mini games, streaming games, chat box, and plugins. Additionally, retro game console emulated apps can offer to download games. So that opens it up for like Nintendo and all that to put some of their emulators out there. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that'd be a whole new market, you know? Yeah. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out. Yeah, I, I, th- I think it's something that a lot of people will, will be able to use. Hopefully nobody kind of takes advantage of it and then it, and it turns the wrong way and all these emulators uh, go away. Um, so we can't play yeah. Skate anymore on the Steam Deck. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, that would suck. Like if they <laughs> it would. That, stuff away, that would be it awful. Would. But you got anything else for him, man? And uh, you want to call this episode and, and uh, get on out of here and play some Rebirth? Yeah, dude. Um, just want to say thanks, everybody, for listening. And if uh, you need to reach out to us on our socials, we are on Facebook. We're on spotify we're on youtube drop us a comment of your favorite gaming moment of the week like we're still wanting those so if you want to either drop us a comment on youtube of your favorite gaming moment of the week we will read it on the show um if you'd also like to email us at ggratedchannel at gmail.com you can reach out to us there and once again i'd like to thank everybody for listening to the gg rated podcast go play something cool absolutely guys thank you for stopping in as always we appreciate it episode 32 in the wraps i'll see you next week g ray or you know what rebirth sorry rebirth after rebirth (laughs) we're gonna go play some rebirth see you later everybody